Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? Happy Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday because I saw my clients this morning and I don't normally see them on Thursdays. I see them on Fridays. But tomorrow is my first art crawl of 2022. I don't know what to expect. Uh, there will be no video from my little shack tomorrow. I will do a video from the art crawl and I'll probably, I'll maybe do it during the day um, and then I'll do just a little blurb in the evening. So tomorrow, um, it's a part of downtown Hamilton where people can come and take a table and set up their wares. Now, historically, it has been just artists and we've gotten into a little bit of controversy on what is classed as art and what so I may have to I may be putting up my dukes tomorrow to uh, defend what I consider to be my expression of art refurbishing and representing these pieces of fashion history for the next generation to love and learn about if I know about the company I will share it with my customers they look forward to that they are excited by that and they love that and maybe you call it performance art, I don't know, but it is, to me, art. Finding these bags is tough. It's not easy and it's getting tougher and tougher with, um, with each year and with the level of people who are reselling as either a side hustle or for me, um, how I er predominantly earn my living. And that will be kind of the stance that I take tomorrow if I am challenged in any way. It's like, this isn't me just coming down after work to make a few bucks for my beer party this weekend. This is how I pay my mortgage. This is how I put gas in my car, food on my table. So you know what? Fuck off. And I, <laughs> I will get that specific. I will. So that being said, today is a really, really busy day. Mom is not coming with me tomorrow. She's got way too much going on with her move. And, um, and I could kind of tell she was trying to not disappoint me, but I just said, mom, don't worry about it. It will be a 12, 13 hour day. So I have to limit the uh, liquid intake limit. Cause you know, unless you're with somebody next to somebody who you can trust, you're leaving your items unattended to go to the bathroom. If you can even find a bathroom somewhere. So it's a lot of, a lot of stuff involved. So anyway, today's bag. I've been kind of keeping this bag for a while. Not because it's a bag I really use, but it's beautiful. It's Italian leather, handmade in Italy, and it is just, it is a beautiful bag. So, here we are. It is a two-color pebbled leather with smooth facetta leather drawstring bucket bag. The brand is I Medici Firenze, which is, I guess, Italian leather, whatever, speak. Um, the company's been around since 1952. They started out making briefcases and then they moved over to uh, bags, belts, wallets, that kind of thing. All the bags are handmade. Each Design is an original design. Is a bucket bag an original concept? No, it isn't. But as far as this company is concerned, this will be the only bucket bag that looks like this. So, um, it's beautiful. There are some watermarks. If you've ever owned Vaquetta leather before, you know how delicate it is. There's a couple of little watermarks here. You can't even really see them on the camera, but they are there. And there is a little snag here too. So, you know, it's, this bag has not been used much at all. If it was, it would be very, the, the Vaquetta leather would be very dark, much darker in spots. That's the only thing with this leather. I almost would rather dye it darker to start with. Um, that gentleman that I used to watch who dismantles the Lux brand bags and refurbishes them, whenever he does a Louis Vuitton bag, well, not whenever, he has had several customers who have requested that the Vaquetta leather be um, moisturized to a darker uh, tinge right out of the gate because it, it does kind of look shitty 
when you've got you know in your touch zones you've got spots that are you know a lot darker now another unique thing about this bag is that it does have um, a detachable top strap so when you close the bag up which you can see it just closes beautifully. You've got these two hooks and that little strap goes right there. I wouldn't use it. It's not really tall enough, I don't think, but it definitely um, is there for you to use if you so choose. Interior, there's another I'm a DC plaque. So shiny. This, Like I said, this bag has barely been used. A zipper pocket. And then you've got a very small foam pouch and a slip pocket. So I've dated this bag as pre-2003. I don't know exactly when it was uh, made, um, but I'm, I'm from the foam pouch, I'm saying either late 90s, uh, early 2000s. And the leather is beautiful and soft. It's black and the vaquetta. And it's going to be really nice and easy to ship. It's got feet on the bottom it's just a gorgeous gorgeous bag I will be sorry to see this one go I really will be but there you go and I have had some uh, sales recently so thank you um, the Brahmin bag the one that looked like the reptile tote that beautiful mixture of cognac and um, uh, mahogany colors oh just gorgeous that is on its way to California today so I hope that customer loves it as much as I did so yeah so it's going to be a busy a busy busy couple of days um, not sure I'll get to the gym in the morning I'm not sure what the rest of my day is going to be like I sanded the deck yesterday I will give it another sand tonight it's way too hot right now I think it's going to, it's about 26 degrees now. It's going to get up to 28 tomorrow. So I'm not sitting in the sun today because boy, am I going to get more than my share tomorrow. I better remember my uh, lip uh, sunscreen. I'll be a mess if I forget that. So anyway, we are not going to do any more Christian Dior. We're going to move over to Fossil. So Fossil, is it a Lux brand? No, it's a mall brand. But it's a higher end mall brand and I personally feel that Fossil is very much in keeping with the roots and the even the coaches like the quality. Now I don't have any feedback from my own experiences or my customers experiences with regards to whether or not Fossil in 2022 is as um, beautiful as fossil was in you know late 90s early 2000s I haven't had that feedback I don't get a lot of vintage fossil so um, I don't know but I the fossil that I have owned are all vintage bags and I love them and I especially love the black and tan combination and I mean, they're, it's just so stunning to look at. And it just oozes quality. And you can tell a fossil bag. I can, anyway. I can tell a fossil bag from 60 paces. So, anyway, the company was founded in 1984. And it started out as a company that sold products overseas. Almost kind of like, I don't know, what would be today's kind of drop shipping, you know, kind of thing. Where it was imported uh decorative items from overseas the gentleman who owns uh fossil i'm gonna murder his last name tom cart sotis greek um went to texas a and m university and he is based in richardson texas now i'll leave fossil there are we'll carry it on another couple of days but I don't know if you know that Fossil has a number of brands associated with it. First of all, being fo Fossil. Second is Relic. Now, I come across Relic purses all the time. They are nice looking, but they're not leather. It's almost like the Route 73 version of Roots. It's, but even the Route 73 stuff, it's not very nice. It's almost like very mature. Like it, it's for the fashion part of it is not... Um, 
in the same zone as the roots whereas the relic is the relic is very westerny looking a lot of it it's, it's nice but it's just not leather um abacus michelle watch Skagen, denmark misfit wsi and zodiac watches so fossil started out predominantly as a watch company um so all of those brands some of them you may recognize some of them you don't i mean just the relic and the fossil is is the ones i've come across so so that's our start to our fossil trivia and um got a couple of days still to come so anyway everybody hope you have a great rest of the day if you're in my neck of the woods and you know about art crawl come say hello tomorrow i'd love to meet you if not have a good weekend have a good rest of thursday and i will talk to you from art crawl tomorrow bye everybody